Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. You're here with Morris, and at the end of... Well, just to remind you, you're here with Morris. Uh, depending on how you watch these, could be anywhere between five seconds and two weeks between this and the last episode. Um, but the, regardless, uh, at the end of the last part, we just bumbled uh, into, into this handy save room, which, you know, I could not be happier about, to be honest. And uh, that was after picking up the Stars card, which I believe is used for the office which is directly above us. Now this this is about the point uh, where I stopped as, as a kid. This is about as far as I got when I was little, at least by myself. You know, this, this, this was the part where I'd go, hey, you know what, bro, you know, you just, you take over. I'm giving you the chance. And that would be the end of my worries. That would be the end of all my troubles. Um, so I think, you know, maybe part of me has been subconsciously putting off having to do this, you know, but I, I would never leave you hanging, you know. Well, not, I mean, well, maybe maybe a couple of times, but not not this time. Not with Resident Evil. Um, and there are times when you you know you just got you just got to man up. You know you just got to say I can do this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Is that a note? Can I take this? David's memo. What does David have to say? My sanity is at its end. That is a great way to start a memo. If you're leaving a memo for someone, you started with that. You know that draws the reader in. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday. Mayor. May is that Mayor? One of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. What a hero. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I can still hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind. The sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid, terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey. Nice, unloading my, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. This guy is very creative writing here. We've lost 13 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this ball, my old friend Mossberg will be turning in, turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. You know what? Maybe, maybe he's got the right idea. Ah, uh, so what's in here? Is there anything in here? I don't suppose we have to develop any photos like last time. Ah, nothing suspicious. No crime scenes here. Not in the center of the police station. <laughs> ah, so what else have we got? I think as far as... Ooh, hello. 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 Gunpowder Ray, we'll take that. We'll take those. I think I'll, uh, actually, I'll actually might as well make the most of that now. Seeing as we're here, I think I'll leave one Gunpowder Ray just... just just kind of, you know, keep the stock. Keep the stock levels healthy in this item box. Nice. Sweet! Alright, I think we're good for items as well. I don't want to take any herbs with me. After Whoa, don't want to take the knife. <laughs> Why did he even give us that? Ink ribbons, no. Blue gem. I remember where that goes. Uh, that's 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 a while off, I think. Shotgun shells, no. Knife. Pfft. Reloading tools. No, no need. First aid spray, nope. Gunpowder here, we'll keep that. Mixed herbs. I don't really want to take any. I, I, you know, why? I'll tell you why. Because I'm an idiot. But also, I think that there'll be more upstairs. I reckon there's there be, there'll be more upstairs, right? Come on, Star's office. Alrighty. Well, I guess we can move on. Luckily, there's this. The police station looks to be a little bit more linear than last time. So there's only one place that we can really go. So let's move on up. Take my sip of tea. Mmm. Which I'm gonna need. Holy shit. Whoa, I'm running. I'm running into this. What am I doing? Uh. Hey, guys. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, everybody okay? Everybody doing good? That's all I ask. Did everybody just lie down for me just for a second? Just for a second or two. Wow, there's a lot up here. <laughs> come on. Re come on. Really, dude? Oh hey, quick turn. Did it, did we discover the quick turn already or not? Uh, the reason I'm going back down because I want this zombie to spawn up where he did, so I don't have to kill him. <laughs> I'm not just being a little baby man. Although that will happen pretty soon, I'm sure. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Ah. All right. So hopefully that. Yeah, that guy's in the corner again. Good. Cause you know we don't need we don't need to take everybody out, do we? I don't think so. This door's busted again. Who did this? Come on. 
If anybody's in that room, it's probably somebody in that room. Probably somebody nailed themselves in. Great idea. Statue of a god holding up his soul. Whoa, fat zombie. Dude, you gotta stop eating. I know you want the brains, okay? But you gotta go for the, for the slimming brains. Not those fatty brains, you know? You wanna be careful. Alrighty, what do we got? What do we got? This place seems relatively safe. I think this is a dead end, actually. Yeah, it's a solid barricade has been set up here. Small ventilation shaft. It's far too small for an adult to fit into. Hope that's not a cheeky indication that we're... Hey, handcuffs, can I take these? <laughs> All these handcuffs. Just chain up some zombies. Alright, let's get in. But yeah, I hope that vent isn't like a... Wait, what? The star's key to unlock it. The hell is the star's key? I've got the star's card. Why... Ah, oh, God, they did... Just... Making me jump through hoops down here. The only other thing I can think of is... That computer downstairs? Did we use that? That might be. That might unlock the key. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway. That's what. That's what we're gonna go with. Holy. Where'd the chief go? <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, all right. Let's go back down. Now, hopefully, what I think is about to happen won't happen just yet. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You're thinking I'm gonna shit myself, and that's true. But it's not because I don't know what's coming. <laughs> oh god, I really have to. You're witnessing history. I don't think. I, I just want to reiterate that you. I don't think you, you, it's. It's difficult to explain. It's difficult to fully understand. Under, uh, you know, understand and explain exactly what this game did to me. You know, no other game has had this effect on me ever. But I just. I don't. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like. I don't, there's a feeling of unease always. You know. It's the middle of the day for Christ's sake. It's sunny outside. So much light pouring into this room. There's as much light as I could manage pouring into this room. Ugh. Still. You know, we do what we can. We do what we can here. Oh, God. I forgot about this guy. See ya. At least that kills him in one. I'm happy about that. I'm still fine. Alright, so this is where the computer was, right? And I believe the stars card should work. If if not, I really got nothing else, so it's gotta be. I don't think I'm pressed up against it. There we go. There we go. Of course I'll use it. Notice the stars personnel. Hmm. Due to the emergency, the keys to the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the... Oh, I skipped it. I skipped it. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, I got it. Just... Just give me the key. Just... 0131. Oh, wow. We were way out. Mm. We were way off the mark with our attempt. Do I have to keep this card, then? I mean, it's not letting me throw it away yet, so... Ah, oh, I don't like having to keep items. <laughs> Who does? Come on. It's not like I got a lot of places to store them. I mean, I mean, I don't. What is with Jill's outfit in this game? I mean, what before the outbreak happened? What was Jill planning on doing? Come on, this is not this is not Star's standard issue mini skirt. Come on. <laughs> hey, you know what? Nah, yeah, I ain't gonna complain. Whoops. What am I doing? The code, damn it, we just found out the code. Pay attention, man. Oh, one, three. What was it? One? Yeah, that's it. Alright, we got the key. Cool. This looks like a one use item. Way too fancy. Oops. Why would this be in the evidence room? Come on. Star's emblem is engraved on it. Alright, so that's that's the star's key good. We knew that, but we just gotta check. We gotta check these things. Am I going the right way? That crash, that crash bang wallop in the background, I don't like that crash. No, we're not going the right way. Sugar. 
getting lost. This is a straight line to where I'm going and I'm getting lost. There may be, you know, massive portions of this Let's Play that I'll just remain silent, just because I'm so on edge, so on. I mean, well, no, I'm pretty cozy in this in this chair, but still, you know, figuratively speaking, I'm on edge. That guy has got too much of a pace on for me to handle. Where'd that fat guy go? Is he here? I think I saw him just hiding behind there. Maybe he's giving up. He's like, you know what, I'm overweight, I know that, I'm not going to be chasing anyone. <laughs> Maybe he took my advice, he was like, I've had enough of the brains, that's it. You've used the stars key. Hell yeah, I'll discard it, get me in here. The stars off is surely the safest place in the, in the station. Uh, I was kind of half expecting Leon to be here. Maybe that's just... Maybe that's just the, you know, me, uh, just hoping for the best, really. Ever the optimist. Marksman Contest winner Chris Redfield. We know all this. We, this this must be the same kind of... The same text as pretty much what we've already read with the with the Resi 2 playthroughs. Both of them. <laughs> Still, I suppose we got to check. This is a replica, right? Oh, we got handgun bullets. We'll take those. Whoa, hello. It's the desk of Barry, a Stars team member. Yeah. Oh, we got a shiny over here. The lockpick. The lockpick. Where, 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 where? Where would that be used? It's got to be back outside. I know that much. I can't check the other maps, can I? Come on, you got to let me check the other maps. Ah, alright, well it's definitely outside. Nowhere else to go here, so. Alright, well, I guess we just keep it moving. Anything else in here? Any goodies? It's the desk of Rebecca, a rookie member. Oh, hello. Oh, give me those. Give me all of those. <laughs> Sorry, Leon, I'm taking this. Box of files from past cases, nothing useful. Suppose they'll all go unsolved. A live communications device. It's out of commission. Can't send any messages from here. Gosh darn it. Gosh diggity what the hell is this? Whoa, okay then. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, we're good. I'm happy with that. This could not be going better. First aid spray and a grenade launcher. Are you spoiling me? Are you spoiling me? This is just it's too much. I'm keeping the lighter on me because you never know with the lighter. The lighter is always a tricky item to know when it is you're supposed to have it on you. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. <laughs> Whew. That doesn't sound good. No. Come anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlo. Carlos. Immediately. Or Carlos, depending on your preference. Hmm. I remember Carlos. He's in the he's in the films. It's like my favorite character from the films. <laughs> Speaking of the films, I it, I assume people, you know, at least a few of you have seen the the, the one that has a I think it's a is it Prison Evil Apocalypse, right? The second one that uh, that takes place that sort of takes place during this story. It's so weird, the Resident Evil films. It's, it's weird that they, they looked at the games and went, you know what, we got a great female lead, strong lead character here. Let's, let's not have her as the lead in the films, you know? Let's just make up a totally different character. And whilst she's kind of cool, Alice I'm talking about in the films, while she's kind of cool, I don't, I don't know. You, you could have made a perfectly good set of horror films without just changing the plot completely. <laughs> But, you know, I don't make films, I don't make games, so, you know. Come on, get past, you gotta get past. Oh shit, oh shit. I heard it. I heard the smash. Do you guys hear the smash? I mean, the volume's low, but I heard the smash. Let's get back to the save room. 
Holy shit. You can hear that. Oh my god, you can hear the music and everything. I'm just going, I'm going straight back to that save room. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Okay, I'm going back in there. You get me in there. You get me in there now. Go, 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 go. Just run, just run. We're back in. We're back in. We're not bothered. We're not bothered. Which didn't even notice that. Jill, just, it's just tunnel vision. Doesn't even give a toss. Why is there no, like, save room music? I'm disappointed in the lack of save room music in the save room. Something's going on here. Something, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is, this is not what I signed up for. I'm putting this back. I guess I'll keep the rest on me. But this is just... The, you, hey, I gotta pause it for now, guys. I gotta pause it. I gotta go do... I gotta go wash my hair. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this episode of Resident Evil 3. And please do join me for the next one, guys. I will see you in a bit. See you later.